guys, since I talked to you last, I've done a little bit of traveling. Jared's been in California for work for a couple weeks, so I got to go out for a long weekend. I spent four days hanging out with him. I also got to meet up with my friend, Diana, who lives in LA, and I spent the afternoon just catching up with her and her husband, and I got to meet their new baby, Miko, which was, she is so incredibly cute. Like, I'd seen pictures of her before, so I knew she was cute, but just seeing her in real life and interacting with her, such a cute baby. So that was a great afternoon. And then in preparation for my trip, I did a little bit of shopping, picked up a couple things from Sephora, a new jacket from Madewell. And then while I was there, I went to a couple all natural beauty shops and a tea place that I've been wanting to go to forever and picked up a couple of souvenirs there and a couple of things for my friends. So just kind of a light, light hearted video to get me back in the groove of filming, but I thought I'd go ahead and start with a couple things I purchased from Sephora. When Jer first mentioned flying me out because he had a couple of days off, I was thinking California, warm weather. Jer always likes to be outside, so I thought I needed a sunscreen. So I purchased a travel size of my favorite. This is my favorite body sunscreen from Kula. It's SPF 30, and I got it in the Fresh Cucumber Scent. I ended up not using it at all. Randomly, it was 15 degrees cooler in LA than it was in Virginia last weekend. So while we did spend a little bit of time outside, it was very rainy. Two days kind of completely rained. One morning we did go out to Red Rock Canyon and walk around, but I was completely bundled the entire time, other than my face, which of course I have sunscreen for. I think my hands were the only thing out. I kept my jacket and a scarf on the entire time. But I'm still, I will, I will definitely use this once it gets warmer, so I'm happy to have it, but ended up just kind of taking up space in my bag. I always keep some kind of stick concealer in my purse, and for years I've used the Josie Marin one, and I've gone through three of those, I think, and I was running low, so I was gonna go and repurchase that one, but I ended up deciding to try something new. This is from a brand called Wander Beauty. I don't know much about the brand, to be honest. I started following them on Instagram because they were coming up as like a sponsored post a lot, and I think it's either started by, or at least the face of it is a model. And she looks familiar, but I don't know her name, but I got their Duelist Concealer. On one side, it's like a lipstick tube concealer, which is great because I, for the life of me, I still, I am 30 years old and I still have yet to find a foundation or concealer combo that doesn't completely wear off around my nose. And I've tried all the tricks, like the MAC paint pot things, Still nothing works. So I love to keep a concealer like this because it's very easy to draw on. I don't have to like dip my finger into a pot. So it's a lipstick concealer type thing on one side and the other is more of an illuminating concealer. And it comes with a doe foot applicator and I've only used this a couple times while I was out but I thought it worked really well. So I haven't used it as my sole concealer yet. This has just really been for touch up but so far so good. And I would actually be kind of interested to try more from the brand. The last thing I got at Sephora is a travel size perfume spray from one of my favorite perfume brand's commodity. I have and love moss. I also have a small size like this of Magnolia. They've released some new scents recently and I also think they're coming out with soap bars which is kind of cool. So the two scents I was interested in were vetiver and bergamot. I sprayed them each on different wrists and I left Sephora and just walked around the mall for a while and I ended up liking how bergamot smelled the best on me. So I ended up getting this one. You can see I've already started using it and I did take it with me and I'm really happy with this. I think this will be a nice one that will just easily transition into spring. Okay, this next thing is not related to beauty at all, but I love an army green jacket. I have two from Loft, one that's more of a true winter coat. It's lined, it's padded, it has a faux fur hood. And then I have one more that's a little bit better for spring and summer. It's lighter weight, but it still has a big collar and it's cinched at the waist and then comes out. So I wanted one that was similar in weight to that, but just a little bit more streamlined. Like I could wear it throughout the day and not feel like I had to take it off if I'm sitting down at work. Loft has one out right now that is very cute. And I tried that one on, but in the back of my mind for so long, I've wanted the, I think it's technically called the field jacket from Madewell. So I tried them both on on the same day. Actually, the mall I go to, Loft and Madewell are just right across from each other. So it can be can be kind of dangerous, but I ended up going with the field jacket from Madewell and I am so excited about this. And if you follow me on Instagram, I tried to post some Instagram stories of when I was in California. I wore, I don't think I ever took this off. I wore it pretty much every single day. This is just one of my favorite colors. I think army green is so good because it can go with so many different things, brown, black, navy. It looks great with denim. So as we're moving into spring, I think these types of jackets are so nice. So I'll put a link to this one down below. Also put a link to the loft one. They were similar priced, full price, but of course loft always has a lot of sales. So you could probably end up getting a better deal on that one. 
I think this one missed me too. She had to go stay with my parents and their giant white cat who, not sure how well they got along. I think he liked her more than she liked him. My flight from Virginia was pretty early, so I got to my destination around lunchtime and I went straight to Diana's house, had lunch there, and then Diana and I walked to a coffee shop. I think Jer came and got me around dinner time, to be honest. I don't remember much of that first night between getting up so early, the time change, and I'm kind of a nervous traveler, so it always causes me a little stress. I was out like a light that first night, but the next day we did a couple touristy things. I had a couple places on my list that I wanted to go. Top of that list is a tea shop called Alfred's Tea. Even their bags are cute. Just the packaging of everything in there. I posted my own picture of the travel cups. I love everything. Everything's pink and green and super cute. And they had some unusual beverages. I got an iced peach tea and then I also got a turmeric chai tea, which was different. And I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first because it was a little bit, almost like burned your throat a little bit going down, a little bit spicy, but I ended up really liking it. And while I was there, I picked up a couple of souvenirs. Well, the first thing I didn't pay for, it was not above taking an extra one of their napkins. It's so cute. It says hashtag Alfred's tea on it and it has a little kiss imprint. One thing I knew I wanted was one of their travel mugs. It's from the brand Clean Canteen, which I think is a good brand and it has their branding on it. So Alfred's tea on the back and then on the front it says, but first coffee. I've used this and carried it to work every day this past week and I love it. It keeps my coffee hot for hours, which is awesome. I've started a very small pin collection. So to add to that, I got one of their travel cups and then also a pink cactus, which I thought was cute. This was an impulse buy right up at the cash register. I think you pronounce it Compartes. Matcha green tea, white chocolate, and pink glitter chocolate bar. This sounds kind of weird, kind of amazing, and I think after lunch today, I'm gonna have my first piece of it. On the same shelves as the travel mugs, they also had these Beverly to Fifth body scrubs. They had a few different ones. I ended up choosing the Island Coconut Coffee Scrub. Never had a body scrub in a bag before. It just seemed a little bit messy, but I got sucked in. I was having a good day and I liked the packaging and I thought it sounded really nice. So I will test this out and I'll let you know what I think. One day for lunch, Jaren knew he wanted to go to this barbecue place he had heard about and he loved it. It was a American barbecue with some Asian influences. I'm neither here nor there about barbecue, but I loved it. The baked mac and cheese was so good. And they also had this amazing cornbread. So we both really enjoyed it. And when he was paying, I just did a quick search to see what was nearby. And I think we were in the Echo Park neighborhood and a stationery store came up called Shout and About. Very small, but I thought they had just packed it full of really great stuff. Lots of rifle paper company stuff, swell water bottles, cool candles and cards. So I was walking around trying to find something that I could bring back to my friends as a little gift, something I thought they would like, but that would be easy to transport since I only brought a carry-on. So I ended up finding these teas and the brand is called Brew Peace. And I thought the packaging is adorable and both Sarah and Karen really like tea. So I got Harvest Moon Red Chai, Twilight Mint and Lemon Mint Mate. So I'm gonna take these actually, as soon as I'm done filming, I'm gonna meet up with them for coffee. So I'm gonna let them choose the ones they want and then I'll just um, have the left over, but I'm really excited. And actually I could have spent a lot more time and probably a lot more money in that shop. So if you live in LA, definitely check it out. And so I'll try to find their link to their website and put it down below. I'm not super familiar with LA and all the different parts, but I think one day we ended up kind of in the same area where we were for the Alfred's Tea on Beverly Boulevard. There were a couple all natural shops I wanted to go into. One, I feel like maybe an event had just ended because it was very crowded and I couldn't get to the display I wanted to look at. So I was on my phone and I realized I was kind of near a Credo Beauty. I followed Credo online for a while, but I've never ordered from them before, but their shop in LA, I just thought it was set up so nice. It felt very spacious on the inside and they just made good use of their space and it was all very clean and neat. Even the samples were very neat. So I had a really good shopping experience there when I went in and I just wanted to browse. They let me browse, no one bothered me, but then when I had questions, they were really attentive and they had a few different brands I was interested in. Probably the one I was most excited to see in person, I will try to pronounce this correctly, Ritual Defi, I think, but just the packaging, oh my word. This is one of their eye soots in the shade sigil. I really hope I'm not butchering a bunch of names, but this is like a cream shadow. The color is gorgeous and I wore this for two days out there and I had no issue. I always put on a normal primer first, but with, with this on top, I had it stayed in place. I thought it looked really pretty. So I'm excited to play with this more and try to come up with some looks using it. And I also got one of their, I think these are called Inner Cream or Inner Glow Cream Blush. And this is in shade 01 Love Sick. So it's super pretty rosy color. I've only worn this once and I think I kind of went a little bit crazy applying it. I think I need to try it with a duo fiber brush just to get a little bit of a lighter application, but it blends out really nice. So I'm hoping that this 
this wears well on me so it's something I could wear to work and it still be there at the end of the day. The last thing I got at Credo is an Ilia lipstick in the shade Madame Mina. I'm wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing it with the Bite Lip Pencil in number 18. Perfect match for this. It's a gorgeous color, kind of a rose with some mauve to it. Only thing is I love the texture and I love the look of it, but I was wearing it the morning that Jer and I went to Red Rock Canyon and I posted a picture of us and not that I want you <laughs> zooming in on my face, but if you were to zoom in on my face, this does seem to get on my teeth kind of easily. So as I've been filming this video, I've just been trying to keep that in mind. But I was actually really happy with this purchase. I bought this because I liked the color and then Melissa from Citrine Natural Beauty Bar, which is in Phoenix, which I would love to visit one day. She was wearing this in an Instagram live and it looked so good on her and I always feel Feel like because she and I have similar coloring if it's Melissa approved then I automatically like it and in that Instagram live she showed that Ilya is coming out with pressed eyeshadow palettes that look incredible so whenever those are up on the citrine site I think I'll be ordering one of those I'll use it in an upcoming get ready with me video okay I'm, I'm looking on my phone really quick because I'm trying to find some okay I found her I'm trying to find so one of the days where it was raining so hard Jer and I had the great idea to walk around the pike in Long Beach we ended up having a really good time but it was so cold so windy so rainy the ends of my hair were sopping rain was dripping off my nose my bangs were plastered to my forehead and so after we were done with the walk we decided to go back to the hotel to dry off and freshen up a bit but as we were driving by we passed this mall where a hundred percent pure has their own store and so I was like Jerry just let me run in no one knows me no one cares what I look like so I go into the store and there are a few people trying on makeup and checking out and I just go to one wall and I start browsing and when I go to check out myself the sales associate says well if you post a picture to Instagram Instagram or Facebook with this hashtag will give you a free mask. I was like, awesome, hold on one second. So I post the picture, buy my things, and then later that evening when I'm checking Instagram message, a lady named Marissa, who watches my videos, was actually in the store, but she didn't recognize me. And I'm so embarrassed because I think that's her very nice way of saying, you looked kind of like a crazy person and not how you normally look in your videos. But I wanted to say thanks so much to Marissa for watching my videos and hopefully I'll be back and I'll look more like my normal self the next time I run into you. But I did end up buying a couple things from 100% Pure. The first is their Pretty Naked 2 palette and I haven't been that into cool colors lately but I liked this. I liked how it swatched. I'm wearing the lightest eyeshadow shade all over my lid today and then I actually took some of the blush and put it in my crease and I think it turned out kind of nice. I'm wearing the blush on my cheeks as well as the highlighter, which I really like. And the other thing I bought are these little eye gels. I follow Tashina on Instagram. Tashina and her blog name is Logical Harmony. She always posts pictures of these green eye gels and they have caffeine in them. So I thought those would be fun to try. And then for posting that picture, the thing I got free is their caffeine mask. So it looks like this. I'm very curious to try this. It seems very wet, so I'm not sure how it will work, but the ingredients sound really good organic aloe juice coffee extract hyaluronic acid bearberry organic green tea so i'm really excited i don't have much experience at all with 100 pure but i do really like the palette so i'm hoping the masks work out for me too that is all for my haul i hope you enjoyed i'm really excited about everything first impressions are very good and then jer was home this past weekend but he's gone again for a couple days when he gets back i'll see if he'll help me film a get ready with me video so if there's anything in particular you'd like to see demoed leave it in a comment down below and i'll try to get that filmed but thank you so much for watching today i really appreciate it and i'll talk to you again very soon